Hello, this is Alex Zero, and I decided to make a video teaching you how to use JavaScript injection. Now, JavaScript injection can be used to hack, or it can be just be used to just have fun. It's up to you. Well, anyway, okay. For this video, I would assume that you have at least a basic knowledge of how to use a browser. You don't have to know how to use JavaScript, but if you do, you can do more things. So if you want to learn how to use JavaScript, you can go to w3schools.com and they've got a JavaScript tutorial on there. Again, that's w3 as in the number 3 schools.com. Okay. Now, on to the tutorial. So you open up your browser and then you say so open up Google. Just use Google. All right? So, let's, let's just do a basic hello world. Type in JavaScript, J A V A S C R I P T colon alert uh, parentheses quotation marks hello world quotation marks end parentheses and then semicolon and hit enter and you should get a pop-up box saying hello world <coughs> easy enough yes good okay now you can also use this alert box to show you the documents cookies so go back to just the alert open colon or not colon. Open parenthesis and type in document dot cookie. End parenthesis semicolon. Hit enter and you'll get a pop-up box saying a whole bunch of random gibberish that you don't understand. That's okay. Just click OK. And now if you want to add a cookie or change a cookie, type in JavaScript colon void open parenthesis document dot cookie equals open quotation marks let's just call it auth a u t h d equals one and then another uh, quotation marks end parenthesis okay so you got javascript colon void open parenthesis document dot cookie equals um, quotation mark auth a u t h d or whatever you want to put there just making a new cookie space equals space whatever value you want i put one and then end quotation marks close parentheses and just hit enter all right it won't visibly do anything and then go back and do the javascript alert document dot cookie your browser should have it saved just hit enter and it'll come up and you should have a new cookie at the bottom mine says auth equals one I don't know what yours will say, but if you did the same thing as I did, then it'll say the same thing. Pretty easy, eh? Okay. Now, you can also use void to change the value of, like, buttons or something. So, you see here, whenever you have a button that goes to another page that sends data, it's in a form. It just always is, just because that's how you write um, HTML. Alright, so, if you're on Google... Let's change the text of the Google search button, just for the heck of it. It'll just change it for this session on your computer. It won't hurt anything. <coughs> Excuse me. So, view the source code. If you're on Firefox, hit Control u If you're on Internet Explorer, go to Page, View Source. Alright, bring that up. Okay, it's all sideways. And then hit Control f and type in Form. Whoops. Form. And you should find like form action equals slash search or something like that. Okay, here we go. You should see input name equals like btng type equals submit. The type equals submit is the most important. Well, not really, but it just tells you that it's a submit button. All right, so you got the name and the submit. Alright, so now minimize this, go back up here to your address bar, type in JavaScript, void, uh, parenthesis, document, dot, forms, forms, there we go, uh, open, open bracket, zero, the forms, zero thing, 
It's just the forms. If you have more than one form, then it starts at zero and just goes up. And you put form zero dot uh, B T N G B T N G like the button dot value equals quotation marks whatever you want the button to say. I'm just gonna say the Google rules. Okay, just because. And then hit enter and it will change the button if you did it correctly to whatever you want whatever you put up here see now the button says Google rules I can say hmm Google I can change it to a b c d e f g if I feel like it a b c d e f g see there it is right there you can change the text of a button but it'll only change it for your session so it's kind of just find that fun you can also use it to change like hidden values that you can't change otherwise. So, all right. Thanks for joining me. Hope you learned something. If you have any questions, email me. My email will be in the description. You can also message me on YouTube. All right. Have a nice day.